Perm band here, otherwise known as Bass Haxer. I just want to let you guys know this is like the third recording I've done. And I, I like just woke up, so it's like I wasn't really paying attention. I just kept recording. I was wondering why my mic wasn't recording. And it was because I had it on mute on the device. I, I feel stupid. But anyway, I just wanted to rub this in a little bit uh, in some people's faces. You know who you are. Um, I didn't get banned. And there was a band wave like yesterday. I think it's kind of funny that you guys got banned and I didn't. My name is Permband in all caps. My, I mean, that that should be first off why I should should have got banned. And then if you go to my account management, I'm gonna sign out. Look at my email. Like, PSI moderators must suck that bad, cause they still haven't banned me. I mean, like really, like my email, my name, it it should, and I don't need to mention. I I'm on my for three all day. Like, come on. All right, well let's get to the tutorial part. Um, what I'm showing you today is uh, how to change the name of your game while you're playing it. As you see here, it says Call of Duty World of Boar. Um, it's really simple. All you gotta do is have a custom firmware PS3. You just go to uh, Multiman Dex, and you would, or Multiman. It doesn't have to be Dex. Just go into Multiman, and once you're in there, you gotta have a disc in your PS3. The disc that you wanna na have the name changed to. So that disc that you have in right now which for me right now is Call of Duty World at War uh, if it pops up oh also you're gonna need FileZilla so I'm gonna go open FileZilla real quick alright now as you see here as you see here it says Call of Duty World of War and it says HDDD or HDD my bad now if I go up here I have World of War in as a disc so as you see there's a disc so now for those who don't have what I have right now you have to have this backed up that's what that is down here it's backed up to the hard drive so I don't I don't need Call of Duty World of War the disc in right now so anyway let's say you put put in any game right now it would show up right here disc right below the refresh mark so you're gonna press triangle on it and you're gonna wanna click copy now once you do that you're gonna get this little pop-up you can choose any of these three, but you're going to want to do PS3 HDD Dev HDD 0. You're going to click X on it, and you're going to click Yes. Now, I got an error here. That's just because I already have it backed up, so I don't need to. Now, because I already did that, it's already ready to go. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to FileZilla, and you're gonna want to find the IP of your PS3 this is really easy for multi-man you just press L1 or, or this screen you gotta be on this screen right here mine's 192.168.141 and it's auto gonna put a username in you don't really need to do anything you're gonna see this folder click on it the plus button go down to HDD0 click on the plus button go to games click on the plus button and then you're gonna see all these games mine are all backed up so that's why I have all these here you, you're probably just going to have, if you've never done this before, you're just going to have the game you just backed up. Now, let me change, um, for the sake of the tutorial, I already have COD World at War backed up, and I have the disc in, so I'm going to drag this. It's going to ask me to overwrite because I already got it. Now I'm going to go down here. Where's Prime SFO? I exit out of it. Son of a puppy. Alright, open that up. And now, just drag the Prime SFO and say Call of Duty World of War. Don't change anything in here except for that. It's pretty simple, really easy to do. So once you do that, you're gonna want to save it. Make sure you don't save it as Prime SFO and overwrite the previous one because if anything screws up, you're gonna need the original. I mean, this has happened to me a couple times, but I mean, it doesn't really happen anymore. But make sure you back up the original. Can't emphasize that enough. Oh, and before you use Prime SFO editor, make sure you install msvbvm50.exe or else Prime SFO editor don't work. Okay now now you're done you got it transfer oh no, no 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 you're not done you got to drag and drop the premise fall back over I, I don't really need to do it because I already have it and it's gonna ask you to overwrite just click yes now once you're done with that you're gonna be back on the game over here once you're on the game just press whatever to get back to this screen you're gonna want to be on this screen and it's not gonna change for you right away it's the HDD is not gonna change so you're gonna have to go up and click refresh 
and it'll change it. Then you can go down and see if your HDD backup changed, and it will. And then just to tell if it worked, you just run it. And to run a backed up game on your hard drive, it does not always work just by running it right away. You want to press triangle, you want to go to game settings. Now here you're going to see at the bottom left hand corner, right here, you're going to want to have internal and BD mirror checked. Because if you don't have these two checked, I don't know why I was going that way, just these two checked right here. Once you have these two checked, you're good to go, just press circle to go back. Now you can either press X to start up the game, or triangle to load up the game. Now, I got Call of, Call of Booty Black Cox 3. I got Call of Booty Black Cox with a wiener. I got Call of Duty Modern Modern Fail. Modern Fail 2. I guess my, <clears throat> I guess I failed. And then Call of Duty World of Boar. So, oh, and then YouTube user kind of friendly. Now I'll just run that. Now see, those are the ones I have all backed up. That's going to be on the hard drive. You you, you can't change the Prime SFO of a game save. Oh, well, I mean a game save. I mean like the patch or whatever on the game. Because the game refreshes itself as soon as it starts up and it will delete the Prime SFO and replace it with the original. Now as you see here, it says YouTube.com user condo friendly. Now I... It, it it will show for everyone else that I am playing youtube.com user kind of friendly and just to show you that it that it shows up I'm gonna start up the game okay guys now I'm back on the game I load up multiplayer right away it's because of my eboot alright see now here's my name and it's not really showing anything different now to see if it actually changed you're gonna wanna press uh, triangle or not triangle my bad uh, you go to, you press the PS button, you go up here, go to friends, go to up here, go to players mat, and there you see it. The last player I was playing with was youtube.com slash user slash cognitive friendly, because it's reading the game as that. Now, if I scroll down, I'm sure, no, because I had this changed for a while. But yeah, this is, that's, that's all you do. I mean, it's pretty simple. If this helps you, though. Please leave a like, a comment, tell me what you think. If this, you know, got it working. If you didn't and need help, just leave a comment. But that's it. I hope that helped you. Hope you got your uh, game name changed, and that's it. Thanks a lot. I'm addicted to this lifestyle.